Senator, we'd like to, <clears throat> the, the comment they'd make is that uh, Trump made all this noise about infrastructure, infrastructure. It's pretty clear he's only talking about public-private uh, so-called partnerships. Uh, the federal transportation program has evolved since Eisenhower gave it the initial push. It's gotten better. It's got transit's been added. Environmental protections have been added. Obama finally got an authorization through in his eighth year because the Congress would never get it to him. If they just fully appropriated what was in the authorization sitting there, uh, money would go to every corner of the country, including those places that voted for, for the idiot. <laughs> um, if you do public-private partnerships, the money's only going to go to places where the economy is hot, you know, where there's a toll road, where there's a port. None of that money's going to Montana. So, like so many of Trump's things, what he's actually doing really screws the people that were, you know, misled enough to vote for him. And um, that could be amenable to a relatively simple campaign uh, with, at the congressional level, I guess, but uh, it's something that unions certainly have a stake in, that you want to do public-private partnerships as long as they're in addition to what Obama gave us. You give us everything Obama gave us, and you do more, then we'll say, okay, you're doing something. Uh, in Massachusetts, um, the, the idea of building a high-speed rail link uh, to complement the one through Providence, going through Worcester, Springfield, Hartford, New Haven, that's been a central mass priority for decades. Uh, <coughs> You know, you've got, if we're lucky enough to get the House back, Richie Neal is the chairman of Ways and Means, we could actually get it. So I think it is an area that's worth working on. It's an area, because of Davis Bacon, the, the money in the Obama bill, that those are all union jobs. So it's a logical place to organize around. And the good thing is you don't have to get a new authorization bill, which is really hard. You just got to fully fund what's there. And I don't think the Republicans are going to do it, but they, you need to make enough noise about the fact that they're not doing it. And I, I don't hear that noise being made. Uh, you could even get it into the state dynamic a little bit because uh, Baker's a Republican, and he's just as bad as the rest of them. He's just a little bit smoother. But his, uh, he hasn't done a damn thing. He's one of the most popular governors in the, in the country. Uh, he's a Republican. There's a Republican Congress, White House, et cetera. Where was he on blocking the tax cut that gave all this money to the corporations that's going to totally unbalance the Massachusetts budget. So two thoughts. One is infrastructure. The other is light a fire under this governor's race. Uh, I'm not act, I'm not, I'm somewhat in touch with uh, particularly uh, Seti Warren. And I've been saying to him, nationalize the campaign for Christ's sakes. You know, you're going against a governor who unfortunately <coughs> has tricked enough people that they think he's moderate. Now, there's nothing very moderate about this guy. You gotta let it, you gotta, you gotta twit, tie him to Trump. He hasn't stood up to Trump on the important issues. Now he's pushing people off of Medicaid. So I, I think we've got two potential sources of energy this year. One, one is, it sounds like there is gonna be some kind of an infrastructure initiative by the Republicans which could generate visibility for a Democratic response, say, if it's in addition to what Obama gave us, we'll talk. If not, you know, that's where it's got to begin. And the State House race dynamic, which could be an opportunity to get people to open their eyes and, and realize that, uh, I don't know, I, I'm getting to be an old man. There used to be some decent Republicans around. I don't think there are any anymore. I mean, uh, the Democratic Party. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Anyway, thanks. Thank you.